there's a battle going on. Don't be so secure in how good your life may appear right now to, 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 to blind you into thinking that ain't a battle going on. You, you may be coasting through today, but if you are my sister and brother, let me tell you, you coasted on your mama's prayers and, and your grandmama's prayers. You're, you're coasting in on your pastor's prayer and your bishop's prayer. Every day is a battle and we are on the battlefield, but Paul reminds us to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Hallelujah. There's a battle going on. It's a battle. And it's Moses is about to go up, up the street and go to the hill. <laughs> yeah. Amen. And, and, and Joshua, I want you to go out and fight. Uh -huh. and, and I'm going with what got me here. Amen. Yeah. I want to yeah. Didn't prayer get you here? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. Did, didn't the Lord get you to yes. where you are? Why yes. would you abandon the Lord yes. in prayer yes. after all prayer has done in your life? He says, I'm going up to the mountain and you go out and fight Amalek. Now let me just break down Amalek. Um, Amalek is the grandson of Esau. It becomes but to steal yes. Kill and destroy. It doesn't matter, Sister Billy, if you can see it or not. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we got a, a, a secret, Sister Kara. We got a secret weapon of prayer that we can execute to fight the enemy. And so this is what happens when we can't. Prevailing prayer was being made while the battle was being waged. The time for prayer is when the enemy attacks. We don't wait until we're losing the fight in our own flesh. <laughs> we pray as soon as the enemy attacks us. Don't wait until you are in the situation. Uh, we got to pray before we encounter the situation. Uh, sometimes you can't wait uh, for a way out. You can't seek help from your friends all the time to help you out of it. Now the friends may come, friends may go, and, and that may be a good option, but the first option, I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, should always be prayer. We should begin prayer uh, before we're tempted. Yeah. Uh, because we know with that, that temptation will come. Yeah. Uh, before we have evil thoughts, because we already know how our mind works. Yeah. Uh -huh. We should pray before uh, we have thoughts of lust, because we already know. Uh, I knew I knew I'm gonna get too many witnesses. Uh, uh -huh. That that some of us battle with a lustful spirit. We pray daily before we encounter these things, because we already know that it's all the way. Uh, we pray before we find a, a tax physically on our bodies, uh, whether it comes from sickness, ridicule, abuse, persecution, or, or bodily harm. Uh, and whatever the attack by the enemy, the believer's hope uh, always lies in God. And so this is what happened when we pray in verse 11, it tells us that when Moses held his hands up, yeah. Israel prevailed. Yeah. That's the first point I want. We want to leave you with is keep your hands up, Amen. Yeah. Keep, 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 keep your hands up. This is a critical moment as Moses is in battle, standing on the hilltop, but his hands were lifted up in intercession. This is what happens when you pray. This is what God's kingdom lens yeah. shows us that when you pray. Israel prevails. When you pray, you are winning. Amen. Doesn't matter what your eyes. Doesn't matter what your feelings feel. When you pray, you're winning. Quit 
story yesterday. One of the ministers who were here was here, told me and Reverend Rochelle that he had been praying. He talks to God all the time, and he had been praying that 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 God would help him. Re